All right, welcome to this video tutorial about how to create a corridor in Civil 3D. So this is an example of the finished work that we're going to do today. So we're starting from uh, point data, and from that point data we create a surface. From that surface, uh, we also add an alignment to it. And then we've got our profile view with our surface profile, our design profile, and then our assembly up here. So if I orbit around in this 3D view and we take a look at this corridor, you'll see that the surface that we created is a very steep surface. And we're keeping the elevation of the center line of our road level. And so our corridor is going right through the middle. So we've got our areas of cut and our areas of fill as we move along the surface. So that's just an example of what it's going to look like when we're done. So let's go ahead and open up our drawing P9-49 that we were working on the other day. And it's time to build our corridor. So come on up here to the home tab on the ribbon, click on corridor. For the name of your corridor, we're just going to use Weber Parkway Road. For corridor style, we use basic corridor layer. We'll go ahead and click on this little icon out to the right. Brings up this object layer dialog box. Click on that icon again. Takes you out to all your layers. And we're going to scroll down here and we're looking for a C road layer. So I don't see it. I'm going to go ahead and select C road ASSM. Click on new. It'll make a copy of that one. I'll type in C hyphen road. And the color. Color doesn't matter. I'm just going to use something different. So I'll go ahead and click in that cell. Click on these three little dots and I'm going to make mine red. So I'll choose red, hit OK. And my Create Layer box, I'll click OK. And then back here under Layer Selection, I'll make sure C Road is selected and hit OK. And my Object Layer box, I'll hit OK again. Takes me back here. So the next thing as I work my way down this box is the alignment. We could have multiple alignments in this drawing. So we want to make sure we select the appropriate alignment. For this case, it's Weber Parkway. For our Profile, this is uh, what elevation we want our road to follow. So I'm looking for this design profile right here. So for me, it's this Weber Parkway proposed. Yours probably just says Weber Parkway proposed. So go ahead and select it. For the assembly, I want this assembly right here. It happens to be called Weber Parkway assembly. And then finally, the target surface, I'm going to choose the appropriate one, which happens to be existing ground. So I set all those, hit OK. It opens up this baseline and region parameters box. So we've got a little bit of work to do in here. So first thing is just kind of stretch everything so that we can see it all. So one thing we want to do is click on set all targets. And that brings up this target mapping. And so we want to set our comparison surfaces. So I'm going to click here where it says click here to set all. And I want to set all of those targets to be looking at existing ground. So go ahead and click OK. It sets everything in here. Go ahead and hit OK again. And then the other thing that we want to do is set all frequencies. So the frequency is how often along our alignment that Civil 3D is applying our assembly. So right now it's set to every 25 feet. This piece of land is only like 300 feet by 300 feet. So we want that to, to sample more often. So let's click on set all frequencies. And then any here, anywhere in here where it's got a 25, let's just change it to 10. So there's a couple places along spirals. We'll set that to 10. Along vertical curves, we'll set that to a 10. Everything else there looks good, so go ahead and hit OK. And then go ahead and hit OK again. And when you do that, Civil 3D asks, do you want to rebuild the corridor? Say yes, rebuild the corridor. And then I get some warning messages. And it says no side slope intersect found on certain offsets. So what that message is talking about is in here on our surface, you'll notice that there's an area where it's generating a boundary but then it stops. And so the corridor stopped because it ran out of surface data. So it ran out of points. So it doesn't know, could not figure out what is going on in this area and this area over here 
and this area up here. So that's what those warnings are about. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at what we do to fix that and then uh, continue working on this drawing a little bit. And uh, the next couple of videos, we'll get this finished up. So that's all there is to building a corridor. Hopefully it goes as smoothly for you as it did for me this morning. And uh, good luck. Thanks for listening.